in the Factor follow-up segment tonight, as we've been reporting, the city of Chicago has seen its murder rate explode in recent years. President Obama has been outspoken about the massacres in Tucson, Aurora, and Newtown. But it wasn't until today that he really addressed the situation in his hometown. Last year, there were 443 murders with a firearm on the streets of this city. And 65 of those victims were 18 and under. So that's the equivalent of a new town every four months. For a lot of young boys and young men in particular, they don't see an example of fathers or grandfathers, or uncles, who are in a position to support families and be held up and respected. And so that means that this is not just a gun issue. It's also an issue of the kinds of communities that we're building. Joining us now from Albany, New York, Reverend Jock DeGraff, a Fox News contributor, and from Chicago, radio talk show host Matt McGill. Matt, let me begin with you. How is the president being received in Chicago, finally making remarks about the murder situation there? Well, he's being received warmly. People have been calling for the president to come to Chicago for quite a while. I don't think that it's overdue, but necessary. Uh, a lot of people in the community want to hear from somebody who is the president of the United States and from their hometown. But as the president stated, and I was glad he said it, this is more than a gun issue. This is more than an issue about government and what government can do for the community. This is about what the community has to do for itself, first and foremost. And if that message resonates with people not only in Chicago, but in other cities across the country that are suffering from the same type of youth violence that Chicago is, then it's a strong message. Then well, it's going to make a difference. But you if know, we Matt, keep thinking I, government Matt, needs I, to I help us. I just want to say we, amen. So. Matt, I think you're exactly right. Jock, so what took the president? President so long. Matt says he doesn't think it took so. I think it took way too long the president in his hometown to connect the dots and say when you have family breakdown, as we've seen in the black community, when you have 70 percent of black children born out of wedlock, when you see an absence of dads, he spoke about poor fatherhood in our community, in the black community, when he gave the State of the Union, but he didn't connect it to the gun issue. In my mind, it's taken too long. Jacques, why so long? Well, I, you know, I, I, I'm glad that he's here. I'm glad that he connected it. But it's, it's as uh, Matt has said, it's really more than a gun issue, Juan. And, and I think that he's been, been addressing it in a variety of ways. It's time for him to come home. He came home. And no president in the United States has ever stood before the American people and said, I wish I had a father. I mean, that's a riveting moment, Juan, and I think a seminal moment in this discussion about the family. And that's what I really think is, is the larger issue. How do we put our families back together? How do we provide hope to inner cities, not only in Chicago, but across the country? Well, this that's is a right. national well, issue. Well, that's right. But I mean, the thing is, you've got to speak to the issue about some of the problems that lead young men to think that, you know, it's okay to shoot a Hydea Pendleton, a little girl in a playground, but, but, but and the gangs, problem, and the lack problem. of fathers, and the lack of structure in our community. You've got to speak to it. That's what I'm saying, and that's why but, I but, think but, it was but time Juan, to but say Juan, um, no, no, clearly it was time, but, but Juan, the, the other things that he's been doing, every day he shows up to work, uh, and carries himself in the way he carries himself and role models from the day he has been president, the way he loves his family, the way he involves That's his family, great, Jock, the way he's Jock, engaged with his family. It didn't stop well, Hadia from doing being that from the shot. Beginning. It hasn't stopped this high murder rate in Chicago. And Matt, let me come back but to you on this point. But he's not Chicago. Okay, Juan. but no, I understand. But Jack, let me come to Matt on this. Matt, the president talks about doing away with assault rifles. Most of these shootings, including Hadia Pendleton, happen with a handgun. So why, I mean, yeah. what, what is going, I mean, it doesn't seem to me that his prescriptions when it comes to gun control are going to do anything to stop the murders in Chicago. Yeah, but you know what, Juan, guns are just a small part of it, and I'm glad he kind of outlined that. We need to get people in the community to realize it is about families. When he talked about not having a father, that is the most important thing in our community. Why? Right. Single parenthood has been killing the African-American community for years, man. Unless we address that, address that head on, we're going to be lost. We're going to be relying on government to come in I and come up with, with policy you. against Look, guns. Amen. I, amen. I wrote a book about it enough. I'm telling you, but I'm so glad that the two of you are standing up because I think the president should have stood up more clearly for a long time and said, we got to do something about the problem in our community.
Gentlemen, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're speaking the truth.